Hey, everybody. Today we're in Philippians chapter 2. And if you're to ask people, what do you think is the path to happiness? Most people would probably say something like this. Get an education, get a job, get married, have a family, make a lot of money and retire. That's the path to happiness. But I know a lot of people who have all those things and yet they're not happy at all. The Bible says that the path to happiness is something that you never really would think of. This isn't something you would first point to or imagine. The path to happiness, according to Scripture, is very simply through humility. And maybe you go, what are you talking about? Humility. How in the world would humility make me happy? Well, there are many, many reasons why humility is the key that really unlocks true happiness. And also why pride is the thing that guarantees unhappiness in our lives. Man, I could give you many different reasons, but let me just give you one, and we're going to focus on it today, because the reality is one of the greatest killjoys in life, one of the greatest causes of unhappiness is conflict. Let me ask you this question. Everybody agree with that? I mean, conflict is the greatest cause of unhappiness in all of our lives. You could have a lot of money. You could be famous. You can be very successful in life, but if you have conflict in your relationships, your life is unhappy. Everything could be going great in your life, and, and you have an argument. You have tension with somebody else, uh, maybe somebody you love, and, and all of a sudden, that happiness, it flies out the window. You know, and if you're ever going to learn to be happy on a long-term basis, then you're going to have to learn how to have reduced conflict in your life. How, how do we get rid of conflict? I mean, at some level, it's not really possible to get rid of it entirely. But how do you reduce conflict in your life more and more? Listen to me now. That, that's where humility comes in. The Bible tells us right here in Philippians that the habit of humility is the key to reducing conflict in your life because pride is the thing that causes all the conflict in our life. Matter of fact, the Bible tells us in Proverbs 13, 10, pride always leads to arguments. It doesn't say sometimes leads to arguments. It says pride always leads to arguments. How many would agree with that? Absolutely. Now, pride at its source, pride is the source of every single sin. Okay, in, in this passage that we're gonna, we're gonna look at today and over the course of the next several days, we're going to be looking at Philippians 2, 1 through 11. Okay, we have the greatest explanation ever written on the planet about the relationship between humility, harmony, and happiness. This passage tells us, it first tells us in the first couple of verses of chapter 2 that harmony creates happiness and that happiness comes from harmony. And then we learn in the next few verses that humility creates harmony harmony. And then in the last verses, it talks about how Jesus modeled both of them. So I'm going to read this whole section of scripture real quick, and I'm going to give you one quick takeaway from that. But why don't you just listen and see if you can pick up these themes. There's four kinds of harmony, four keys to humility, and three examples. Philippians 2, 1 through 11 says it like this. Is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the Spirit? Are your hearts, listen to this, tender and compassionate? Then make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working, toward, working together with one mind and purpose. He goes on, verse 3, Don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. But be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out for only your own interests, but take an interest in others, too. You must have the same attitude that Jesus Christ had. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. He took the humble position of a slave and was born as a human being. And when he appeared in human form, he humbled himself in obedience to God and he died a criminal's death on a cross. Therefore, God ele elevated him to the place of highest honor and gave him the name above all names, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Now, you got to understand something there. That's, that's what's something known as the kenosis passage. We'll get into that a whole nother time, but that's Jesus at the emptying of himself. And this is what I want to leave you with today. Where could you today, 
be more humble in your relationships and less prideful. If the God of the universe could do it, let's just start there today. Make it a point to display a humble action to someone in your family today. As you're cooped up, as a quarantine still in place, who can you show a humble attitude to today? Let's pray together. Father, I love these people. We thank you so much, God, that even during this time, we can learn from your word and we can grow. Help us to follow your example in a very practical way today, to be followers of you, showing humility and not pride. We give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen.